we are talking about fire and as I told you we have just this is an update and therefore to complete the update one must have also the higher end machines which are available today and the latest so I am going to talk about three higher end machines that I am using. We know that power modulation is significantly reduced energy uh, delivered with high and improved thermoses uh, safety. We also know that sophisticated surge control mechanism which safely allows high vacuum techniques uh, are, are, uh, are nowadays uh, are to be used and more and more uh, high end machines. And therefore, we will be discussing about the speed and machine, the white star signature, the insulin vision system, and the stellaris. Now, the main thing about the power modulation in the, in the, in the white star uh, signature system is the ellipse transverse and the sound. And the fluidics has been mentioned already by Dr. Kanslal and Dr. Shah has included fluidics. Fluid the dual pump technology that is written both has a list peristaltic and venturi pump and a dual laser cook pedal. Now what is an ellipse transfer uh, uh, ellipse uh, transfer and ultrasound? It combines the longitudinal that is the forward backward movement with the left and right movement for the transversal movement, which results finally into an elliptical movement. And this is so you know. <coughs> So the tip oscillates uh, at 30.8.5 kilohertz. This works in any style, straight or curved tip. The transversal component decreases the repulsion, it increases the follow rating, stability, and <coughs> it's better holding and easier for chopping of nuclear factors. So that is what the transversal component does. The longitudinal component of this prevents clogging and allows constant emulsification. And the combination of two that is the longitudinal and the transverse component leads to an elliptical path which enhances cutting efficiency. Then also the power modulation has the, has the white star hyperpulse. These are micro pulses which deliver less heat into the eye and less wood burns and distortion and less endothelial damage. The fusion fluid we have talked about consists of two things. The case, which has been talked about by Dr. Arnold Slide for Arnold Slide quite extensively, and the fusion board. So a Nemo signature has both the fusion board and the case. This I will not dwell upon again because this has been talked about by two speakers. How the case has been built up and the vacuum breaks at a much safer level. And that is the whole idea that the vacuum should finally break at a much lower, lower level to prevent surge. So this has been covered. The other thing is the occlusion mode. And how does the occlusion mode work? The aspiration flow rate is different at different stages of surgery, and that is how the occlusion mode works. Now, this signature has both the pumps, the, the peristaltic pump and the venturi pump. The peristaltic pump is good for chopping and mobilizing nuclear fragments, and the venturi pump is good for mobilizing the epigenius and the cortex. And therefore, enables the surgeon to have better control over its fluidics. And short, short video. very brown back, almost absolutely back at that we operated on the signature. In fact, we are making four products in this case because we want to really demal the nucleus, not not this this is a very brown, very leathery cat back. In the sculpting I just want to show you how easily this machine starts because of the 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 anti the, the, the power delivered is so so efficient. This, this elliptical form of energy which is delivered is so so efficient. Now the second stage I want to show you is it's a good hold. At 400 magnitude, this thing will get such a good hold. Even if you go up to 600 magnitude, 
bad practices of the old system is very good, but, but when the inclusion takes, there is no search. That is because of the inclusion board paper and the case statute. We see this is being tracked now. And look at the hole that there is there. The other thing I want to show you is the case vacuum, which is really you, you can see at the bottom. You will see there, there will be some serrations here which will come. This is how the vacuum is building up. And you see these serrations, these are this is the case vacuum. The vacuum falls a little bit from the go to the bottom. It falls a little then goes up. Falls a little bit. So there is this prevents the chamber collapse. You can see the last fragment, so last pieces of nucleus being emulsified. And whenever the vacuum breaks, the human when the paper pushes, where the there is hardly any surge. So this surge is maintained by two methods, the case vacuum and the fusion of paper. Is what is called active fluidics. As you can see, 
see, you saw that, I think you want to see the animation. Yes, no You see that bag going in? Yes, the bag is coming into the machine. You are not putting the bag, IPSL bag on a, on a board. It's going into the machine. The bag fits into the special compartment as you saw. As I, as I showed you, between these two plates, the plates can then compress or decompress the fluid bag. And that is how the chamber is maintained. And that not an entire carpet IOP is maintained. So in this active fluid, you can have a surgeon selected IOP, which I'll show you, and a very, very stable chamber. Uh, first thing we do is to set the patient eye level. With the, with the machine level. Now, as you can see, this is the PEL, what is called the PEL. And you see that the, the patient eye level is just not this much. Whereas the eye level, eye level of the PEL and the machine is this much, and the patient eye level is at is this height. Now, these have to be brought together by either raising this or lowering the other. In case we we want to have this thing at the same level, we have to raise the patient eye level on the machine. When did these are both are to, uh, in one line, that is when you, you know that the target, the, the IOP is set. Now IOP is set to 50, so 55, which means translates into 75 millimeters of water. So this is much lower than what sometimes you keep in the body height is sometimes 100 and 105 and therefore this is much lower because there is a constant variation in the pressure according to the needs. As soon as there is less pressure in the eye, more fluid flows in. If there is more pressure, less fluid flows in. It is dynamic done for 3 to milliseconds. The other way is by which this, maintain, this, uh, this machine maintains IOP is by having pressure sensors and the irrigation. Uh, in, uh, the irrigation pressure and the aspiration pressure sensors are there and it also maintains all the time the selected targeted IOP which I showed you. All the, the bore up has also been reduced, the aspiration tubing bore has been reduced even from the interpret and the uh, additional safety is that this one is up in the irrigation line and also if the PSS runs out, the machine stops immediately. So these are all the safety mechanisms which have been built into the machine. So, so that you can operate even in the most difficult situations very comfortably. Now what is the active fluid here? How does it help? It improves the chamber stability throughout the procedure for uh, with, with almost no surge. On consistent IOP level is maintained during the procedure. And the most important is the lower and safer IOPs are maintained. You can operate at a much lower and safer IOP. And that, that is not deleterious to the optic nerve head. Because sometimes you find that the pressure is so high that you might be, in a glaucomatous patient, you might be doing some damage. The differential settings are also there. So this is never not there in any other machine. That is the vacuum and in the aspirin flow, there is the differential setting. You have two settings. The push position two, you have higher vacuum for hold. And in the push position three, you have an emulsification at lower vacuum, which is not, not, not there in any, any other machine. And this is a small this, this is a small surgical clip to show you that when you hold in position two, the vacuum speed you see is building raising up 324, 350 and as soon as this the vacuum is break the, and this becomes bare, bare, the vacuum is going to drop. So you see it goes 144, 145, 146. The actually the vacuum starts falling. In position 3, no other machine will the vacuum fall if you are in position 3. Position 3 you have to prevent surge by other methods but in this the vacuum itself falls in you let the position 3 because the vacuum is divided into two components. Uh, the, the, the component in which when the occlusion is there, 
Then there is a higher vacuum. As soon as it, the explosion breaks, when you go into position 3, there is a lower vacuum. So, what it does is that it gives you the active fluid mix, gives you both maintain and uh, IOP at the surgeon selected level. And the, we have a, a rate diffusion sleeve, a balance kit, non compliant, small door tubings, differential foot pedal settings, advanced contact sensors, all this takes for pedal to total surgeon control in this machine. And this ceramic machine, we have. Uh, this, this is the third machine which is supposed to be a very advanced machine. It contains for power. Power modulation. Uh, it consists of six six uh, six crystal uh, handpiece along the stroke length. This is uh, not very. The more important thing is that as uh, I said, it, it, it has this cruise control in this tubing, which uh, it, it decreases the uh, the active bore to 0.3 millimeters. The length, the bore tubing, the tubing of the bore actually gets reduced to 0.3. Millimeter, which is the IA, which is the bore for an IA sensing uh, and tip, and thereby reducing the surge. And also, in that the steris has a dual, dual linear control. So the high high end machines, as I just told you, this, the high end machines give you an infinite amount of safety. The newer centurion gives you an infinite amount of safety. It lets you operate at much later, less than the pressure, which is very good for the optic nerve. The chamber never fluctuates. You can get the highest of vacuums. You don't even have a pressure of the posterior capsule. And therefore, these are, these are some, something that are worth looking at. Thank you very much.